Okay, YouTube. I decided to make a different video, an updated version of the simplex lock and some of the vulnerabilities of it. Now, you've probably all seen Mark Weber Tobias's a video of how he uses a strong magnet on the side here to, um, to bypass it. I don't have a magnet quite that strong, so I can't show that on my own. But I'm going to go over a little bit more on how you can actually determine what the code is just by a little bit of surveilling of the lock and some telltale clues. Someone, I've had a few comments on the other video, which I'll link to, that I was full of crap and all kinds of other stuff. Now, I welcome constructive criticism, but anyway, here's a website I found, I got it pulled up on my tablet, of all the possible codes. This isn't as cool as the as the one that had that 2600 had, but I don't want to piss off the copyright Nazis by showing the 2600 book that I have that has that in there. Theirs were all grouped into really cool groupings of like one number, which was like one, two, three, four, or five, and it took into account combinations that used multiple key presses, combinations that used all the numbers, or combinations that just used sections of the numbers. The default combination on these is 2, 4, and 3. And that opens it. Now, that can be changed fairly easily, though. There's a keyhole in the back here that takes a key like... Like one of these. This little guy here. There's what the lock core looks like in change tool. But basically, okay, say you're in a building and you know you can rub dust or powder or UV ink on these and you know that one, four, one, two, and four and five are pushed. Now, you can really narrow it down to what the order, what number those are going to, what order those are going to be in. And you can also tell by listening. If you're standing close by, you can be like, well, there's four numbers. Or, there's five numbers. Then you just look in a, in a list of combinations, you, and you look in the, in the group that has five numbers. And you would start with that group. But if you only hear three pushed, then you would try a list of, of all three digit numbers. And that does take into account a numbers where you push two buttons at once. And three. Now there are some half step numbers. I've never I've only heard brief mention of these where you like push the key in halfway or something. But apparently even simplex doesn't recommend using them because they're so tricky. You might have also noticed that this is a different lock than the other video. The other one was an antique bronze finish. This one is the the brush stainless steel and it's got the standard knob instead of the lever handle yeah I've got two of them didn't pay much for them but yeah they're cool locks they're good convenience locks but if it's in an isolated area where someone has time to enter in a bunch of combinations it could be breached now if it's in an area where there's security cameras and stuff like that around and there's a lot of people going in and out the door all the time then yeah by the time it took you 10, 15 minutes, whatever, to enter in all those combos, 45 minutes or less, you could get caught. But if it's in an area where it's pretty isolated and there's not much going on, yeah, you could run through all the possible combinations. It's only, I think there's under 2,000 different combinations that it can have. Whereas a standard master combination lock like one of these has, I think, like 64,000 combinations or something. So... These are good locks. I'm not bashing them. I'm not saying anything bad about them. I'm just saying if you use them on your facility, be aware that if they are in a secluded area or if they are on the outside of the building that's accessible at night or something and you don't have cameras or guards or whatever, it could be breached. I would never recommend using one of these as your sole means out on the outside of a building. They're great for interior and stuff, but if you're going to use them outside, you need to have another lock backing them up or be using security cameras or have a guard patrol or whatever 
you, you don't just want to rely on these for outside. Now these can also have a key in here that you can put interchangeable core, just a key and knob that you can use the key to override the combo. If you don't want to enter the combo, you just put your key in and turn it. And This one doesn't have that, obviously, but there's also ones that have what's called a passage function where you can, there'll be another keyhole like this right down here, and you can turn that and, and, and disable the combo completely, temporarily. So like if you have, if you're giving a tour or something and you don't want people to get locked out, that, but you don't also want to give your combo out, you can temporarily disable it on the models that have that. Thanks for watching. I hope I've cleared some of that up. And these are good locks, but just be cautious with them. If you've got an area that's um, kind of secluded, keep an eye out on them. Thanks for watching. As always, have fun.